ladies and gentlemen today was a day the congress stayed in headlines for more hours than they perhaps have done even in election times rahul gandhi's questioning by the enforcement directorate ended up being a big get together for the grand old party it all began at 10:40 a.m. this morning when the gandhi sign left his residence at uh, tuglak lane in another 10 minutes uh, rahul gandhi had reached 24 Ag Uh, the Congress Party's headquarters, where the Congress had uh, uh, all leaders uh, coming in, and supporters were waiting for their leader. The show of solidarity was there for everyone to see. Senior Congress leaders, their MPs, spokespersons, and even the two chief ministers that they have left uh, in Chhattisgarh and Rajasthan were there at the Congress Party's headquarters. After a quick chat began, what the Congress calls a satyagraha. because rahul gandhi was involved mahatma gandhi's term was taken almost with rights a 1.5 km long march from the congress office to the enforcement directorate headquarters then took place entire uh, central delhi being choked uh, all uh, roads being blocked uh, was a small matter that uh, clearly didn't matter to the congress party the support and the show of solidarity was with family in tow as well while anka gandhi vadra walked alongside her brother Ra rahul gandhi's brother in law robert wadra also was seen uh, speaking to the media giving rahul gandhi a certificate of innocence a little after 11 is when rahul gandhi reached the ed office and uh, has been there ever since in fact even as we speak the marathon grilling uh, continues for uh, the 10th hour at this moment except the short break of 90 minutes which was given to him by the agency for lunch at 2:30 this afternoon in which time he visited his mother sonia gandhi at the gangaram hospital as well now congress leaders are still waiting for rahul gandhi to return to the congress headquarters after the long day of questioning but through the day some of those very leaders left the party completely embarrassed like the chief minister uh, like the chief of the youth congress who was seen running for cover after being struck by a delhi policeman during the protest look at those visuals on your screen he was just stopped and there he ran almost uh, giving pt usha a run for her money and then of course uh, there was former madhya pradesh chief minister digvijay singh who seemed more interested to know attendance kahan lag rahi hai listen in to him digvijay singh ji hai yahan par digvijay singh ji aap aaye hain ki kya aap kuch bhai hazri kahan likhana hai ha sir andar hazri andar hai aap kuch kahe ke kya Across the country Times now found out that many of these so-called Congress protesters were either paid according to their own admission for hitting the streets or they didn't even know why they were there out on the streets take a look at this comedy of errors that hit the Congress party today <laughs> कौन सा ही काम किया है महंगाई बढ़ाई भाजपा सरकार ने और हुकुम शाह सरकार है इसलिए हम इसके धिक्कार करने के लिए आए मेरे को कुछ मालूम नहीं है केस के बारे में जो मैम ने बोला मेरा गला खराब होने के ना अच्छा सर आपको पता है किस वजह से समन भेजा गया राहुल गांधी नहीं पता जो प्रदर्शन में आए क्या ये प्रदर्शन किस चीज सर मेरे को नहीं पता इसके बारे में और किसी कुछ नहीं ये प्रदर्शन के बारे में पता नहीं है बैठे ही है खाली हाँ कैसे आए नहीं अभी बैठे ही हम भी सुन नहीं रहे हैं क्या बोल रहे हैं क्या नहीं सुनने के लिए बैठे हैं मतलब आपको आइडिया नहीं है किस लिए आया ये झंडा लगाने के लिए बोल के लाई थी मजदूरी पाँच सौ रुपए देते बोले क्यों है ये प्रोटेस्ट मैम बताएंगे मैम पता है कि आपको नहीं मालूम ये क्यों प्रदर्शन कर रहे हैं ये बिजली के लिए कर रहे हैं हमने बड़े बिल के लिए बिल बहुत ज्यादा बिल बहुत ज्यादा आ रहा है महंगाई बढ़ाई भाजपा मेरे को कुछ मालूम नहीं है कि मैम बताएंगे था द स्पेक्टिकल साइड 
the Gandhis face some very serious question. The Enforcement Directorate was waiting to ask Rahul Gandhi about the Young Indian, uh, how it was formed, how much money was used to set it up, how and where the funds really came up uh, from, and uh, how did the takeover of uh, Young Indian, uh, which took over uh, Associated Journals Limited, really happen? An important aspect of the questioning was the loan from Dotex Private Limited, a Kolkata based uh, company that was allegedly involved in some uh, entry operations, cash given and one crore loan without security given to the Gandhis. Rahul Gandhi also uh, was questions by two assistant directors uh, of uh, the enforcement directorate as we understand on why uh, this loan was provided uh, to young indian also the questions that were asked were how did uh, the uh, congress party give 90 crores as loan to ajl and why did the company which had so many assets did not return that 90 crores and how did the young Indian acquire this in just 50 lakh rupees? These are the questions that were uh, posed. The BJP also uh, asked some of these questions as Union Minister Smriti Arani uh, held a press conference and put out five charges against Rahul Gandhi. Listen in. What is Rahul Gandhi's relationship? or the Gandhi family's relationship with Dotex Merchandise Private Limited. Mr. Gandhi, is it true Dotex Merchandise Private Limited is one of the several companies of a Hawala entry operator based out of Kolkata, where in lieu of cash, checks are given? Mr. Gandhi, is it true that Dotex merchandise's transactions have been red flagged for suspicious transactions by the Financial Intelligence Unit. And that brings me to the legitimate question on the news are tonight. Is this so-called Satyagra over the investigation justified? That's the question and the debate. Hashtag ED versus Rahul. The debate on the other side. You're watching the news hour at night. Debate number one on Times Now. Super Prime Time. And joining me tonight, Dr. Shambit Patra, national spokesperson of the BJP, R. Rajagopalan, senior journalist, Karan Verma, author, Shashi Panja, minister in charge of the Department of Women and Child Development and Social Welfare and national spokesperson of the Trinamool Congress, advocate Kapil Madan, uh, political analyst, uh, and also my friend Tehseen Poonawala, political analyst. But before I uh, go across uh, to all my panelists, I have uh, uh, some breaking news coming. In. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the Congress party uh, may want us to believe that this is an old case and the BJP via its agencies is trying to bay for Rahul Gandhi's blood only for vendetta politics. But I want uh, to tonight uh, blow off the lid over this case, uh, which is not about a Hawala transaction. In fact, according to our sources, this is uh, a much more serious case than just one crore of Hawala transaction. Uh, what our sources are telling us is uh, that there is a transaction which has been called uh, surreptitious and it has also been called virtually illegal, clandestine and surreptitious by the division bench of the Delhi High Court. And why it is surreptitious is because a company that uh, pays 50 lakhs gets a company uh, which has a 90 crore loan. Now, number one, the 90 crore loan was given to Associated Journals from the Congress Party. The Congress Party is not a bank or a commercial entity. It's a political party. It cannot be giving commercial loans to any entity, so says the Income Tax Department as well as the Enforcement Directorate. Uh, and, and should Congress Party actually lose its uh, income tax exemption on this is a case that is separately going on. Now, the other case is that a company like AJL, which owned 
2010 value, 800 crore worth of buildings and assets. 810, uh, 800 crores in 2010. Today valued at over 2,000 crores. Could not return a loan of 90 crores back to the Congress party. So a case was made out that there will be a new company that will acquire this loan amount which AJL cannot repay. In comes the entry of uh, Young Indian and Young Indian buys for 50 lakh rupees all this property which is today accounted for in about 2000 crores and then this is called surreptitious and clandestine takeover and therefore when there is a section 420 and 120b of thing then this becomes property or money which is uh, uh, proceeds of a crime and that is where section 3 of the PMLA Act comes in which clearly says the offense of money laundering includes if any person directly or indirectly attempts to indulge or knowingly assist or knowingly is partly or actually involved in any process or activities connected with any property derived or obtained as a result of criminal activities as defined in the PMLA case. So why is the Congress party only making this a case of Hawala when it knows it owns these properties and I can I can actually show you the buildings that they own which have been rented out and we've shown this to our viewers who are regular watchers of the news are these buildings rented out to big commercial entities uh, money comes in from them rental money uh, and that's not NGO activity for which these properties had been leased out to AJL. So that is the proceeds of crime and that is the money laundering case against the Congress parties Rahul Gandhi and Sonia Gandhi. So that is the big breaking news that we are getting and Dr. Sambit Patra, I want to ask you, should these questions not be asked of Mr. Rahul Gandhi because uh, there were posters that were put out which said Rahul Gandhi Jukega nahi. I want to ask you, these questions of money transactions cannot be asked to him and was these, uh, were these protests on the streets of India because they wanted to pressurize the investigation department, the ED? Sinavika, thank you for having me. This is a very important debate and we all have been following this since, uh, I, I would say since 2012, very intently. Remember, as far as the word Satyagraha is concerned, Congress trying to celebrate corruption and trying to use the word Satyagraha is an insult on Mahatma Gandhi, is an insult to the word Satyagraha itself. I mean, what Congress was trying to do is protect the first family of the Congress party, the Gandhis, from corruption, trying to protect them from the law of the land. Are they above the law of the land? Such is the sense of entitlement. Just imagine, AJL is not a Congress's asset. AJL was the asset of 5,000 freedom fighters of this country. It was not even the asset of Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, the Prime Minister of India. Subsequently, in 2008, in fact, there were 1,057 shareholders. The first thing is, without the knowledge of the shareholders, remember Shanti Bhushan, the former law minister, and Markandej Kadju, the justice, in fact, had written letters to this regard, that all these 1,057 shareholders were not consulted and without their knowledge 99 percentage of share of AJL was transferred to Young India which was literally possessed by Sonia and Rahul 76 percentage of the of the stake with, of the share lying in these two hands Sonia and Rahul so it's but natural that these questions will be asked the question has been asked in the Delhi High Court the Delhi High Court asks if the AJL had to clear 90 crores you are in possession of crores of properties why didn't you liquidate a small part of your property and pay off the loan rather than transferring all your 99.9% .9 percentage of share to Young India Company this is what the Delhi High Court is asked as far as the posters of Rahul so there is some kind of attraction nowadays, some kind of attachment with this Pushpa dialogue because I was watching many of these Congress, uh, Congress workers, Congress top leaders, I mean doing this typical Pushpa act and saying that Rahul Jhukega nahi. Sahi baat hai, kaash Rahul flower hi hota, fire nahi hota. Rahul to wo fire hai jo apne ghar ko hi jala raha hai. Agar wo flower hota to kam se kam Congress bloom to karta, khud apne fire se Rahul apne ghar mein aag laga raha hai. 
ये ये कांग्रेस पार्टी राहुल पे इतरा रही है वो इतराना बंद करे ईडी के सामने अपने आप को प्रस्तुत करे अकॉर्डिंग टू लेटेस्ट इंफॉर्मेशन दैट वी आर गेटिंग फ्रॉम द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट द क्वेश्चनिंग फॉर राहुल गांधी इज ओवर इन द टेंथ आवर वी आर एक्सपेक्टिंग दैट राहुल गांधी विल बी रिलीज इन अ बिट फ्रॉम नाउ एंड विल ब्रिंग यू दोज विजुअल्स फ्रॉम एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट वेर आर रिपोर्टर्स आर स्टैंडिंग बाई टू गेट you know some some leads on what he was asked uh, while he was there at the enforcement directorate tehsin punawala the charges are there if you or i were taxpayers and if the income tax department called us or if you or i are summoned for a traffic violations normally we just have to go comply with what is asked of us and go and answer a few questions and hope that we were on the right side of the law What is Mr. Rahul Gandhi scared of? Just a few questions. Ma'am, thank you for having me on the show. Good evening to all my fellow panelists, to all your viewers, and it's good to see Dr. Patra back on the debate. And of course, my friend Raj Gopalan ji, I wish him very good health. Uh, two very quick points. Uh, just before I answer everything technically that you raised, and there were very valid points that you raised. Two very quick points. The current ED director has given has been given an illegal extension by Narendra Modi ji after the Supreme Court in a written judgment said he cannot get an uh, extension. That point matter two, also was in the courts. Has been judged, but why don't we it's speak? Not, it's not. It's oh, not being judged. Okay. The matter is up may, to this. May, okay. But but just I want to speak on the technical part. Then go to the court the for that. My question I've is gone. completely different. I've gone. But yeah. I just wanted to start with that preface. I've gone to the court. The ED director is illegally occupying the, his post. I just want to speak on the technical issues that uh, you had raised. Number one, uh, the issue that was raised is can a political party give uh, to, uh, give a loan to any entity? That has been cleared by the Election Commission in six on six November two thousand and twelve. In its judgment, it writes to and it answers Subramaniam Swami, the man raising this case, that the political party has absolutely all rights to give uh, money as a loan to any entity. Now the matter is in the court. The court will decide. Uh, sorry, in income tax, which in my opinion will lead to nowhere because the election commission is the guiding force for a political party. Sorry, so the election uh, this, commission has ruled on it. This matter itself. Now, no, now, no, Tehsin Punawala, do now. not but mislead to, viewers. To, do not not, mislead viewers. This matter has gone to a single judge bench in the Delhi yes. High Court and a. division bench and correct That's me if true. i'm wrong uh, kapil madan that this matter where uh, you know the congress party or rahul gandhi have got no relief has been settled for now till the supreme court comes out but with the verdict but that is an income tax matter but that is an income tax matter it Not is about of, it is about young yes. indian it taking over indians, it is about tax. young indian Can taking over agl tehsil punawala i know the questions let me allow me to answer yes. if you keep interrupting i cannot yes you're right the matter is subject is in the high court and supreme court that is the income tax demanding a tax on this loan uh, on this particular amount that is a separate issue who specifically said the illegality of a political party giving money that has been ruled in favor of the congress party now my, the tax by, by, agree, by, can, no no that has been ruled that, by that uh, in favor by the matter. election commission but being which challenged the guiding, in the court the guiding authority yes Yes. That matter. No, no, so, but so, it's so, being challenged in the court. So let's wait. Right, let's so ho hold on to that. Let's hold hold on to that. Now let's yes. go to the second point. The prime minister side got a victory. Now whatever the courts decide. Now second point. Your very important contention was: Could you or the courts are could uh, could AGL not sell off some of the assets that they have? to repay this loan no i, I did not it. use the word sell off i know where oh, you are leading me i know where you are leading me uh, anybody who owns assets worth 800 crore doesn't need to Correct. sell it it can also Correct. create an spv and uh, yes. you know get banks to give them loans uh, exactly thank you and that's exactly what happened the 1 crore loan that miss irani was referring to again a massive lie told on all channels is was a loan given by check returned by check with 14% interest so yes with a 5 lakh paid up capital a 50 lakh loan converting equity to debt something that the government of india narendra modi did in the case of idea vodafone he converted debt to equity has is a simple procedure now i reverse this for idea vodafone should narendra modi be sent to jail for sent converting debt to equity of the government of india of your tax payer money and my tax payer money and in this particular case assets could not be sold because it's a section 
have not for profit assets could not be sold could not be sold. and but ajl and ajl was supposed to be a no profit no loss not, no, no, no profit, profit no loss organizations and please cut to the pictures the no profit no loss uh, uh, you know buildings yes. and assets owned by ajl what do they do today uh, look at visuals uh, ladies and gentlemen ajl house uh, where rent uh, you know people at least one board that i can see on that building is jsw certainly yeah. not involved in ngo activity i don't know but i think it's That's a commercial well, property and that. and rent is coming in you know That's i uh, tehsin punawala tehsin punawala i'm not the investigation agency know, these were the questions were, that would be asked by the ed so, my question is no 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 no, no. One minute. Hold on, <laughs> Karan Verma. I'm only asking a question. 800 crore ki property, jiska value 2000 crore hai. That is bought through buying of a 90 crore loan by a company that pays 50 lakh rupees. And that 50 lakh rupees ostensibly it doesn't own. It took a loan of 1 crore from Dotex. to buy uh, to give 50 lakhs out of it to buy 90 crores and in turn got. 2000 crores worth of assets no no sorry Ms. what minute karan verma no, 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 uh, would you would you would you would you not think Navika. that there were questions that were in order Navika. and you and i have uh, even if we are normal tds uh, taxpayers we get scrutiny requests we comply with them whatever right. questions are asked where is the problem why is mr rahul gandhi not wanting to respond to questions why is the congress party making a tamasha out of the questions that were to be asked i don't Navika, understand just one clarification 90 crores was paid it was paid as salaries no, as no, brs and as, as, as government uh, taxes it was paid that's it would you please let second. me speak now I will, but one thing is the question is wrong. You just put, you can answer the same question. Question is never wrong. Please, I was not. No, question is never wrong. Physically given. Question is right. The speed. Answer. Answer. Galat na ho jaye. The scene puna wala. Bilkul. Agencies. Agencies and courts will decide whether the answer. Or not. I can ask yeah. any question, please. But 90 crores was paid. When you say it wasn't paid, it's incorrect. Navika. It was paid. It was paid at salary. Navika, I am and so surprised. I am saying it was not it's repaid to the Congress, Congress party. That's right, today. but it was paid. Now, Tessin, would That's you please? Would you please? It was not repaid. You know, uh, Karan Verma, you and I have uh, studied economics, but he wants to teach us yeah. some new financial commercial right. transactions right. wherein 90 crore loan is given. and the company along with the the hedge of 2000 crore can be taken over by giving 50 lakh rupees ab mujhe you know this is the broad sums that i am saying and this broad sums is being said is satyagrah and ye sawal mat pucho not just that not just that navika what is so surprising is that the magistrate the metropolitan magistrate he said it in as many words i mean even if we just follow the legal proceedings he has said that the young limited is a sham of an entity and prima facie it looks a very strong case which is when they had to get a bail then the income tax authority come up and they say that mr rahul gandhi concealed income in 2011 12 and it issues a notice now mr rahul gandhi approaches the delhi high court the delhi high court quashes their plea and allows the income tax authority to go ahead they then go to the supreme court the supreme court also says that no the income tax is fully within its purview to reassess your income for 2011 12 i mean talk about judicial scrutiny talk about a long rope they have got everything and still they have the gall to call it political vendetta or to have tehsil in the studio saying that no it's not a case it is a water tight case navika and you know today was it supposed to be the relaunch of rahul gandhi it the fan fair but i am afraid i am afraid shrinivas shrinivas stole the limelight from rahul gandhi shrinivas actually stole the limelight i mean his athletic prowess navika you have to give it to him his athletic prowess are today leading the roost even ahead of rahul gandhi's wit so uh, for me the man of the moment is shrinivas and second is tehsin who is defending the indefensible here sitting in the he's, studio he's just proved my point correct he's comparing an income tax case 
to a case of money laundering that shows how much knowledge of income tax of, of my friend my friend my friend tehsin punawala tehsin punawala i don't know i don't know how much you know the pmla case but advocate advocate kapil madan Uh, is with us and advocate kapil madan i want to i want to just ask you how does money laundering happen if money is not laundered the money comes in by check is paid by 14% my dear friend that is the problem that is the problem and therefore and may i for the uninitiated may i just read this <laughs> sentence which i read it <laughs> once before but advocate kapil madan money laundering does not necessarily mean that there is only a hawala transaction or check uh, check and cash transaction may i tell you that the pmla clearly says that offense of money laundering in section 3 includes if any person directly or indirectly attempts to indulge or knowingly assist or knowingly is a party to a transaction which is con concerned with criminal activities and and the court and the court has said that the takeover of young indian and ajl by, uh, by young indian was not prima facie uh, a, a case of uh, uh, you know it, it it says it is a surreptitious and clandestine transaction which is what is the matter of investigation so why is the congress party so scared to face these questions and answer them before the enforcement directorate dar kis baat ka hai bhai navika ji i will make you know quick uh, response here uh, my uh, fellow panelist here karan verma he made some remark about shrinivas bibi i just wanted to remind him he is the same man who was on road jab ye bjp ke log sab aur perhaps karan verma bhi jab shayad covid ki wave ke andar ghar mein dubke baithe hue the he was on the road supplying oxygen helping people with bed all right and and and, and you, we you show mock, those visuals you mock, then but you show kapil no, no, madan we show have, those visuals you, then you, when you it was contextual right, today right we will show the, the visuals of today are, i'm not no, 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 i'm not I'll, running no, no, a history am, chapter I am, I am, here i am no 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 that's all right but let me remind him earn the right to mock a man who was saving life kapil i am appreciating him when did i criticize him aap shayad apne ghar mein dubke baithe hue the tab wo road pe the pehli cheez ye dusri cheez मिस्टर पात्रा इज नहीं बहुत अच्छी बात है आप कहां बैठे थे लेट मी नाउ रिस्पॉन्ड लेट मी रिस्पॉन्ड मैं भी सड़कों पे था ठीक है और आपको सर्टिफिकेट देने की जरूरत नहीं बट आप तो दुबके हुए बैठे हुए थे और मैं और कोई तो मॉक नहीं कर रहा हूं मैं यहां आप दे रहे हो सर सर्टिफिकेट मैं तो दे ही रहा हूं सर्टिफिकेट ना ना आपने दिया अभी मैं तो आपका जवाब दे रहा था आपको एनीवेज एनीवेज लेट मी कम टू व्हाट डिड ही से रॉन्ग kapil madan those visuals are there and and we can we can see him sprinting that is the only thing said and we also showed you the sound bite of digvijay singh who said hazri ka likhwana hai gandhi darbar mein hazri ka likhwana hai navika ji i am actually impressed by their dedication to rahul gandhi navika ji navika ji aap wo bhi dikhaye hain jab wahan pe leaders ko man handle kiya gaya senior leaders ki shirts phati gayi unko leta leta ke unko police vans ke andar dala gaya jeeps ke andar dala gaya aap uski baat nahi karenge but that's all right you don't want to do no, no, that miss, let's let's don't do that kapil madan mr let kapil madan mr kapil madan i just seen i just seen a tweet i just seen a tweet by mr p chidambaram who that's says right. he has a suspected airline fracture uh, but sad right. but but, but the fact that. is the board question is why did they all come on to the street sir now, it was now, only now, a few I questions will, that the let, ed wanted let, to let, ask let me, Let Why me, did you all descend respond. on the streets? No, no. Let me let me respond. Now let me respond. I will also like to make a small remark. Mr. Patra is here. Mr. Patra has very responsibly used the word corruption. I challenge Mr. Patra here on national TV to show a FIR or a document, any court order, where the sections of Prevention of Corruption Act are there. I am challenging him on national TV, Mr. Patra. Please show. You you said that there was corruption. You please show. Prevention of Corruption Act is there. Sambit Patra. Sambit Patra. Okay. Rapid fire between Sambit Patra and uh, Kapil Madan. The first and foremost, let me just read out certain statements from the High Court's <laughs> observations. Ab, ab, and remember, the High Court mentions that these are prima facie observations. Did I did I did I shout? middle of any of the panelists uh, navika i mean this kind of hooliganism this kind of road politics at least they can do it outside of the studios in the studio we can be civil thank you 
Navika, what does the High Court say? The High Court says it also needs to be answered as to why the genuine shareholders were marginalized in the extraordinary general meeting, which was attended by just seven shareholders. Is it not criminal misappropriation of Congress Party's funds? Questions the High Court. The main prevention persons who were instrumental in allegedly Oka. siphoning of prevention political of funds were prevention the recipients of, of the assignment Act. of the huge debt prevention of the Congress of Party, Act. and they were all the same persons prevention who had clandestinely Act. acquired the control of the AGI. It's not all bad. this smacks of criminality. All this Crimin smacks of criminality, Mr. 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 Sir. Please don't Act. have to shout like this, sir. You are not a. You are. No, I'm not you are shouting. Well, sir. If you, if you feel that I, Rahul not Gandhi not is not corrupt, please be cool. At least aap, don't have aap, to shout like aap, this. Aap, be cool, aap, sir. Aap, you, Let the people listen to our. Your sitting governor, Navika, tell this person not to shout like this. He will come out of the camera. आप हिलिए मत आराम से बैठिए मुझे कंप्लीट करने दीजिए उसके बाद हिल के बोलिएगा अभी शांति से सुन लीजिए जस्ट अ सेकेंड नाविका आस्क हिम नॉट टू शाउट दिस इज नॉट द वे नाविका इज इट नॉट ट्रू दैट मदर एंड द सन बोथ ऑफ देम आर आउट ऑन बेल इज इट दैट द भारतीय जनता पार्टी हेज मेड अप अ केस इज इट नॉट देन दैट देर जस्ट अ स्टेप अवे फ्रॉम द जेल एंड आउट ऑन बेल who gave them the bail the court of this country the trial court heard them the trial court rejected the uh, squashing petition the delhi high court has in fact commented on criminality of it they went to the supreme court leave aside mada uh, uh, mr madan over here kapil sibal the ace lawyer of their party once upon a time ace lawyer of their party kapil sibal abhishek manu singhvi all of them went and represented the case in front of the supreme court saying that we want to crash this case and what did the supreme court said this is the indian express that i read out on on uh, 3rd of february 2016 stating that it finds no justification in quashing the criminal prosecution of the congress president sonia gandhi who is accused number 1 and vice president rahul gandhi who is accused number 2 in the national herald case the supreme court on friday held that the trial against them shall proceed the trial against accused number 1 sonia gandhi and accused number 2 rahul gandhi shall proceed these were the words of the supreme court of india is the gandhi family is supremer than the supreme court of india uh, do they stand in a higher pedestal quick than response the kapil madan because Such i have to go across to the enforcement directorate where my colleague bhaptosh is standing Na by quick response uh, rebut by you Na 30 seconds navika ji ek badi famous aur badi humorous movie thi fukre usme ek bada acha dialogue tha unse pucho ki aapka naam kya hai wo kehta thi main gurgaon ja raha hu main bol raha hu section dikhao humorous movie ka main bol raha hu prevention of corruption act humorous kya ho sakti hai लाइफ राहुल गांधी का मैं बोल रहा हूँ आई डोंट नो प्रिवेंशन आई डोंट नो कपिल मदान यू नो आपने नहीं बताया नहीं नहीं कपिल मदान कपिल मदान आई डोंट नो आपने फुकरे आपने फुकरे नहीं है आपने फुकरे का एग्जाम्पल दिया है मैं सिर्फ ये कहूंगी कि यंग इंडियन बाइंग बाइंग एजे एल विच हेज टू थाउजेंड क्रोर वर्थ ऑफ प्रॉपर्टी इज एक्चुअली अ फुकरे ट्रांजेक्शन पचास लाख में दो हजार करोड़ मिल गया ये फुकरे ट्रांजेक्शन नेम केम फ्रॉम यू इट्स नॉट माई इमेजिनेशन ऑल ऑल द ऑल द कूडोज फॉर दिस गोज टू यू हाउ कुड यू थिंक ऑफ फुकरे एट दिस पॉइंट इन टाइम यंग इंडियन वॉज रियली अ फुकरा देन फिफ्टी Fifty lakhs, one crore Navika loan Navika with no security, Navika and then buys Navika a company which Navika has two thousand crores Navika of assets. Well, Answer I'm going to cross uh, to Bhaptosh Answer. Singh uh, joining me on the news. Are Bhaptosh? Uh, what's the latest? Rahul Gandhi? Did you get any visuals of him leaving, or was he whisked out of the Enforcement Directorate office? And any details on what questions and whether uh, he will be questioned again? Uh, Navika, ma'am, uh, he in fact uh, has uh, sat in his uh, car and in the cavalcade, and uh, it would be possible that we will soon get his visuals. Remember, uh, this new building of Enforcement Directorate is uh, heavily guarded, heavily fortified. In fact, earlier in the morning, when we were standing here, this entire stretch was completely barricaded. Uh, there were large number of police personnel, and all cars were being checked. But uh, the security has completely been scaled down. Uh, nearly for nine hours, he was uh, questioned here, and at that point of time, no one. was allowed to come here uh, there was also a protest by the congress uh, senior leaders some some of them were in fact detained and taken to tuglak road uh, police station remember in this case this is for the first time that gandhis have been questioned by any federal probe agency so it was a big day not only for uh,
agencies, but also for uh, any probe agency in the country. Uh, in this particular case, uh, Rahul Gandhi was in fact questioned under Section 50 of PMLA. One has to write down his answer, and there were at least two assistant directors who questioned him. Uh, one of the assistant director is the investigating officer of this case. As you all know, that uh, this case dates back to nearly a decade when private prosecution complaints were filed before a metropolitan magistrate, and then Rahul Gandhi's own uh, income tax uh, uh, return of 2010-2011 was uh, taken into consideration by the income tax department. He claimed that his income tax return was around 68 lakh rupees, which was then probed by the income tax investigation department, which said that uh, if we count into the fact that you were director of Young India, then your income is a whopping uh, 50, uh, 154 crore rupees. So there are several uh, subset of this entire case, and it's now being said that uh, Rahul Gandhi, in fact, went to the Supreme Court and he, in fact, uh, challenged this before the High Court at both the for, uh, forums. He lost the case. So it's uh, it's in this particular case that uh, Enforcement Directorate started first, started questioning Oscar Fernandez as well as uh, Motilal Vora. And then uh, it also last month questioned Pawan Bansal as well as Malkarjun Kharge. Uh, when uh, some... he is likely to be called again, any details on that? was issued on 13th of June. Uh, Enforcement Directorate has also issued a summon for Sonia Gandhi for right. uh, 23rd of June. All right. Thank you, Bhaptosh, for that update. Uh, Mr. Rajagopalan, Mr. Rajagopalan, I want to come back to the debate and I want to ask you. Uh, I'm sorry. Before I come to you, let me get in Shashi Panja. Shashi Panja, do you, do you think that... Uh, it's wrong of the inf uh, investigation agencies to ask questions because this case has been going on for a long time. There are questions that have been raised in court. The matter is subjudicial. And uh, as the process goes, it takes long in our country to get uh, uh, to any conclusion. But in the uh, procedure, if there is questioning, uh, should investiga investigating agencies now be scared of this kind of a public demonstration? Is this only to put pressure on agencies? I don't know how e easy it is. I mean, uh, as, as to why you are mentioning this is a surprise to me. Is it so easy to pressurize the CBI or ED by mere demonstration? So, uh, you know, uh, placing this question, uh, I don't think is uh, logical enough. And uh, by placing such a question, are you really doubting the credibility or, you know, the strength of the uh, CBI or ED? Or are you actually also believing in the fact that uh, if a matter which is decade old, why did it take so long? What was happening in between? You know, I've, what I really I've want to say I've got some breaking is, news coming in, ma'am. I'll just interrupt you for a second. Bhaptosh standing by, Bhaptosh, uh, we understand he's been, uh, he's been uh, summoned again. Rahul Gandhi has been summoned again tomorrow. Uh, the questioning is not over yet. Uh, we understand that uh, Enforcement Directorate has summoned Rahul Gandhi yet again tomorrow uh, for another round of uh, questioning. Uh, and and uh, that is uh, the latest information that we are getting. Uh, uh, Rahul Gandhi is leaving office. Uh, but can we just update uh, the breaking plate and, and put it down that uh, Rahul Gandhi has been been summoned tomorrow because that's the information we are getting. Uh, 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 Bhaptosh, uh, can you give us the latest information? Uh, Navika, ma'am, it's, uh, uh, it's confirmed by sources within Enforcement Directorate that even as uh, the questioning of Rahul Gandhi got over after nine hours, uh, he has been told to appear before the Enforcement Directorate again tomorrow. So one can expect another round of political slugfest uh, tomorrow as a uh, Congress leader who had gathered here for Rahul Gandhi will again one can expect a challenge uh, not only uh, the enforcement directorate but there would be a war of words between BJP and uh, and Congress. Remember uh, this case as we have been telling our viewers is an old case that goes back uh, at least a decade uh, uh, long and uh, this entire case revolves uh, around the manner in which... When uh, 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 before, before the investigation officers tomorrow same as today 11 o'clock well it's around 11 a.m. Uh, again uh, 
Yes, uh, uh, Navika, uh, around 11 a.m. Uh, again tomorrow, that's the same time as uh, today. Rahul Gandhi he arrived here at 11 or 10, and uh, it's being said that again at 11 a.m. he has been summoned. So one can expect again a 9 to 10 hours of questioning. So this case will continue to haunt uh, Gandhi's. Uh, this is the first time that Rahul Gandhi was ever questioned by a federal probe agency. The extended family of uh, Gandhi's have been questioned. Robert Wadra was questioned in January 2019, but that was the extended family of Gandhi's who have been questioned. But this is the first time that Rahul Gandhi himself has been questioned. And uh, Sonia Gandhi has news, been summoned uh, going for 20, back, uh, uh, to Going back to Ms. Shashi Panja. Ms. Shashi Panja, uh, investigation continues uh, for the second day tomorrow. Absolutely. And you're saying yes. it doesn't mean no, no, pressure no, if no, they demonstrate. No. No, no. Where? Where is the pressure then? If CBI has again a recall for questioning tomorrow, so where is the pressure? I mean, CBI or ED, whichever is doing its work, it should be. You see, there was nine hours of close questioning. Bhavtosh is there at the spot. Uh, I wonder how we at the studios come to know what questions were being asked or what questions will be asked. Did CBI do a press briefing after the questioning? But look at the number of questions which have come up in the studio. Let allow them to do it, allow ED to investigate. So it's not easy or uh, to pressurize. Why are we speculating? I mean, who are we to raise? So what's the point of ED doing the uh, any kind of such investigation? You see, the common perception is this: that anybody, I'm, I'm not talking about Congress. You know, it's all over the country. The common perception of us maybe as opposition parties, that whoever has been critical of the Modi government has been harassed by the agencies. And also, none less than the Chief Justice, Envy Ramanna, has also said about the probe agencies that they should not allow any authoritarian tendencies to creep in. You see, the police and the investigative agencies, when I, I quote this, may have de facto legitimacy, but yet, as institutions, they still have to gain social legitimacy. And, of course, in the right in the beginning, I much appreciate uh, the panelist when he did mention when he started there, in Punawal, I think, that the government passed the very significant uh, CBC amendment bill regarding extension of the tenure of the CBI the, and the ED, the chiefs of the, uh, the... It came in as an ordinance. And, in fact, even Trinamool Congress and our MP uh, did oppose the introduction of this bill on 3rd of December in 2021 in Parliament. So uh, what we are trying to say is the institutions must keep its credibility. And if I narrate the West Bengal ex experience, if I narrate how, you know, these so let's harassments ask that question of have Dr. been signed with the elections. Dr. Patra, the charge uh, against the you is that you are using agencies at your whims and fancies against opposition parties. Respond to that charge. Both the Congress and other opposition parties like the TMC have raised it. I'm amused. I'm amused that the ones who have DD are talking about the ED harassing people. I mean, look at the harassment that people in Bengal are facing under DD today. I mean, every now and then we look about the vendetta politics in Bengal. But leaving aside as it may be, let's come to the core issue. Over here, we were talking about the National Herald case, and I have already said that three layers of judicial scrutiny. We have seen the judicial scrutiny of the lower court, the judicial scrutiny by the Delhi High Court, and the judicial scrutiny by the Supreme Court in this case. And most importantly, I would like to mention in this case of National Herald that as far as the ED is concerned, this is a separate case. 2011-2012, income tax. In fact, Rahul Gandhi did not declare his income coming from the Young India. He did not show that he was a director of Young India Private Limited. Astonishingly, the assessment that he had given was a meager 68 lakh rupees that he was earning, while later it was reflective of 154 crore rupees. So it's but natural that the income tax and subsequently the ED have questioned Rahul Gandhi in case of PMLA. As far as National Herald case is concerned, just four people, imagine in simplistic term if I'm supposed to this. Imagine there is a Motilal Vohra who is the chairman of AJL. There is a Motilal Vohra who is the treasurer of the Congress party under Sonia Gandhi who is the president. And there is a Motilal Vohra with 12 percentage uh, shareholding in the Young India Company. So Motilal Vohra is everywhere. Motilal Vohra of AJL goes and talks to the Motilal Vohra of the Congress treasury and says that please give me 90 crore uh, loan. So Motilal Vohra of uh, Congress party grants 90 crore loan 
phone to Motilal Vohra of AJL. And then Motilal Vohra of Young India goes to Motilal Vohra of AJL and says, Motilal Vohra ji, we have planned that since you have a loan of 90 crore, you give us the assets and we will in fact take up your loan. So Motilal Vohra of AJL gives all the loans to the Motilal Vohra of Young India and along with the loans, they transferred the property worth 2,000 to 5,000 crore to Motilal Vohra and Rahul and Sonia Gandhi of Young India. And then Motilal Vohra, upon instruction of Sonia Gandhi of Young India, goes to the Motilal Vohra of the Congress Treasury bench and says that, okay, Mr. Treasurer Motilal Vohra, now, now in fact dispense off with the loan that you had given to the Motilal Vohra of AJL. So respond, finally Motilal Vohra of te Congress Party Puna says, wala. well, respond, now I write off the loan of will, AJL Motilal Vohra. Re respond, Tehseen. I'm coming to you, Raj Gopalanji. It's a very simple answer. Two things, uh, just uh, one thing that it, uh, in in this particular case of the AJL and uh, and uh, and Young India, how can Rahul Gandhi ji show the income that he's received when in in actual in actuality a Section Twenty Five company you cannot take the assets home. There is no profits to take home, so there is no income. Oh. Therefore, this assessment by the income tax is absolutely oh. wrong. Number two, the no BJP profits itself, to take how? home. No how profits to take home. To take home? It's a hold, on to the, hold on to that. I'll show you. i show you visuals of the non-profit, uh, uh, non-profit activities, JSW rental. I don't know other other yes, companies are not to get out. Rajagopalanji, Rajagopalanji, no profit activity. Big big buildings and private entities renting, but no profit is being made. So don't ask any question but to Rahul Gandhi. That's the objectives of the company. One minute, one minute. Hold That's the objectives of the company. Hold, hold you can't on. take it home. Are judge, jury, fesla, aap nahi hai, Tehseen Puna wala. Toh aap kaise kar rahe ho? Aap nahi hai. Toh hu nahi. Toh aap kaise kar rahe ho? You go with Rahul Gandhi and answer these questions in enforcement directed. Allow Please Mr. Raj Gopalan to, Nabika. allow Mr. Raj Gopalan to respond. Mr. Raj Gopalan. Tomorrow, Rahul Gandhi being summoned is very serious case. That is why the ED has summoned him on the very following day. Otherwise, they would have given him a week's time or 10 days' time. Since the case is serious, they have been called, number one. Number two, it's very interesting. It is a UPA government case, not NDA government case, because the case started in 2012. Second thing, Bausdor Singh and you also said, Sonia Gandhi, you can get nahi hai. Lekin, mujhe lagta hai, Navika, you know it very well. In 2006, on the office of profit, it is times now and it is yourself. Madam Namika Kumar broke the story that Sonia Gandhi resigned instead of facing the election commission. She is above the law. She never wanted to appear before the election commission. Second thing, on Leopard Award, case of uh, Madam Ambika Soni, who got that award, was a two dual citizenship. The election commission summoned Madam Sonia Gandhi. She did not appear. She is above law, but today the law caught up her son and the law will catch up her also very soon. Apart from that, the High Court said clandestine activity is a very charge, serious charge. Among that, I understand, Navika, the point is there are three directors, including Amitabh Bachchan, Lalit Suri, and two others. They have to be questioned. They are also being questioned. So, therefore, the case is Lalit enlarged. Suri, One, Lalit Suri passed away a long time ago, sir. But the case is going on. But similarly, my point is, Navika, simply only one line I say, it's ongoing case is going to be crucial tomorrow. I am very sure, day after tomorrow, Rahul what? Gandhi, other so, really questions, so I, so you have to I wait and watch. To, I want to get in uh, Advocate Kapil Madan, and I'm coming to you, Sambit Patra. Advocate Kapil Madan, there are questions. Now, there are transactions, there are questions. I'm only on the point if there are questions that are raised to private entities and normal citizens of India, should the same questions not be posed just because somebody is a Rahul Gandhi? That's the moot point tonight. Navika ji, Navika ji, let me just give you a very uh, small legal answer to this. Now, if you see this uh, uh, ED investigation, ED registered the case in 2014 and now we are in 2022. So it's been almost eight years, they are continuing with the investigation. So what does that signify? Now, one probability is that till this date, 
they don't have any material evidence to prove any case of money laundering that's the reason why there is no charge sheet there is no complaint now they don't file a closure also uh, because they want to keep the pot simmering and if they want to use this for a polit wrecking a political vendetta now i'll i'll ask a very simple question here if the protesters were going they were marching towards the ed office did any protester said that you can't question uh, mr rahul gandhi i mean no one no one ever said that you can't do the questioning you do the questioning the but the point is once you trying to use this for gaining a political mileage then of course there would be there would be protest and it was a peaceful protest it was a show of solidarity and i don't see why respond, so much of a noise around dr. it respond dr patra dr patra people can uh, stand with their leader what's your objection yeah. to that what's your objection to that number yeah, 1 course. and number 2 8 years no charge sheet do you want to keep the pot simmering Navika, interestingly, the Congress Party and the Congress Party sympathizers questioned the income tax. Uh, so in fact, uh, the letter of income tax to Rahul Gandhi, and I have that letter in front of me because Times now, once upon a time, disclosed this letter, and the letter dates 17-1-2014. This is to give you notice for the assessment year 2011-12. Just imagine 17-1-2014. Who was in government on 17-1-2014? And if there was no profit made out of Young India, why was the then government, whoever was in government in 17-1-2014, why did the then government issue this letter to Rahul Gandhi? Number one. Number two, and most importantly, to the to the allegations that we were just standing in solidarity with Rahul Gandhi. So why was BJP trying to have a political uh, I mean slugfest over here? who is the one who is having a political slugfest in fact we want that you should stand in solidarity with rahul gandhi we also want that rahul gandhi should become immediately the president of congress party that is good for everyone we consider rahul gandhi as a very valuable asset and he should be the president of congress party but the issue is you made a drama and mockery out of all this you well, are trying to launch very rahul gandhi very important point raised by sambit patra i want to get to miss uh, uh, shashi panja in uh, but before i go to her i just want to show these visuals uh, senior leaders of the congress party waiting at the aicc headquarters those pictures on your screen ladies and gentlemen they are waiting for rahul gandhi to come in from enforcement direct and those are congress netas waiting at aicc shashi panja ji uh, yeah. the the uh, you know the letter shown by dr sambit patra is also and and you you raised a question who's briefing us well ma'am we we got this letter also out from the income tax department when when the congress was in power we got the office of profit uh, stories and the uh, you know complaints written to the president of india then uh when the congress party was in office so we as journalists continue to be in touch with our sources you can't question legitimate investigative stories done by journalists uh to bring before people facts of the case and in this case samit no, patna no, says not... this dated back to 2014 january it wasn't the bjp in power so how is it political vendetta no no allow the ed to question when ed is questioning why are we questioning ourselves here on the television Oh, especially today when the question is happening, let it happen. I am not uh, fighting about that. Oh. What I am saying is that yeah. the issue to malign, or is it issue to is it diversionary? You see, this situation in India is saying something else. The optics are quite evident. The situation in India is not a very pleasant situation. Be it the petrol, diesel, gas, or whatever, there were very important issues to do. Allow ED to investigate. You see, I have a document too out of the four seven zero zero cases being probed by ED. Mr. Patra, I think you had a major time uh, to speak. Allow us to speak. I have not spoken at all. So four thousand seven hundred cases being probed by ED. Only three one three arrested. since the enactment of pmla in 2002 the center tells supreme court this is from an economic times article dated february 2022 and these are also alleged uh, you know uh, uh, about uh, the, the, these offenses at place so uh, ed is also not in a very good shape the point is is it to malign 
Why? Why isn't there no fair end question? To it? Uh, fair question. Is it diversionary? Let, let me get from the present to situation in fair India. And square. But, but uh, uh, Mr. Shashi Panja, no, may I also BJP tell you? BJP has you, to apologize you have given, to the nation. You have given one. Man, at this time, BJP should apologize to the nation to the chaos which is happening all over India. All so right. This is diversionary. This all is right. Diversionary no, tactics. Don't talk but why you raise? Why are you asking questions? While you've quoted one set of numbers, may I? I quote another set of numbers Man, uh, comparison between com let me tell you there is an 1800 percent increase in the property attachment by the enforcement directorate since 2014 properties worth 534 crores uh, uh, a year from 2004 to 2014 and at this yes. point it is about 12,000 crore each year uh, attachments that happen from the ED, number one. Number two, 3,000 searches approximately and 1 lakh crore uh, uh, rupees of, uh, uh, you know, proceeds of crime have been uh, collected Absolutely. by the ED. So these numbers also you must keep in mind. But Dr. Patra, yeah. are you yeah, only people. trying to malign? Because there are many other issues that are uh, very grave issues the country is facing. That's the charge by Shashi Panjaji. Respond to that charge. Now I'm amused. I'm amused uh, by the still confusion amused. that the You're opposition party amused, has. Mr. Patra? I mean, astonishingly, Ms. Panja amused? says that, well, India, uh, India the ED has every right to You're question, but we have no right we to discuss ashamed. about the issue on the television. That is the issue. I mean, no, no, no. Uh, can I... No, 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 Ms. Panja, amused, not ashamed. Amused. I'm amused on your allegations. I'm amused. I'm amused by your allegations because look at the that you have Why created. Not? You said Why that no you have no question of the ED. You have no Why problem not? with the ED question so in no Gandhi. But, but the, the issue BJP. is Why? that we should not be discussing this topic on television. Then you say that there are certain other issues which are taking place in the country, petrol, diesel, etc. So the ED should not be, be questioned. Racist. So first don't get clarity. These are separate issues. If you feel that this is if you feel you this is diversionary tactics, so then who said You're that you should be on the television debate debating this? Don't come for I'm debating a, on diversionary I'm tactics. Amused. Please I'm don't amused. come and debate on diversionary tactics. Half your leader. I am amazed. Oh my God, Sashi ji, kya ho gaya? Sashi ji, shanti, shanti. That you have no clarity shanti, sa, sa, on issues. Be, please be amazed well, in silence well, for a while. Well, let let me, latest information. Amused. While please while the war of words continues between the opposition and the BJP, fresh orders have been given to all Congress workers in Rajasthan to lay a siege on Delhi tomorrow morning. Uh, all Congress workers from Rajasthan have been summoned to Delhi. Uh, that is the latest information that we are uh, getting. Karan Varma, uh, before I end the show, is this another round of confrontation that seems to be on the cards tomorrow morning? Oh, absolutely. And who is dramatizing it? Who is causing it? And who is dramatizing it? Who is causing the confusion? Who is causing the chaos? It is the Congress party. Let it simply come forward and go ahead with the investigation. If they are squeaky clean, they'll come out clean. Why do they need to make it a show of strength and all of that? Well, it is the guilty. Well, come up ladies the, and gentlemen, and it's another day tomorrow while bulldozers and the debate on bulldozers stays off the headlines. It's Congress party back in the headlines, second day in a row when Rahul Gandhi has been summoned by the Enforcement Directorate tomorrow morning yet again. Will there be a siege? Once again, will it be a political statement that the Congress party will make given the questions that Rahul Gandhi has to answer from investigation agencies? Well, we'll leave it at that for now. Thank you very much uh, to all my panelists and to you viewers for joining me on the News Hour at 9. Good night. Take care. And we'll be back tomorrow with lots of action on the ground from Ground Zero.